Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Thursday, and we're going to start pulling What's Sold for us right now. Hey, friends. I did want to give a thank you to Jennifer, who bought us five coffees. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. She said, recently found your channel, have been binge watching the videos. I love how authentic and transparent you both are with your business and the info you share. I have dabbled in reselling over the years, never realizing the potential inspired by people like you. I will be embarking on 2022 with a strong business plan, consistency, and your awesome spreadsheet. I hope to duplicate your amazing inventory system. Wishing you continued success in the new year. Awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes, thank you so much, Jennifer. All of that. Um, yeah. Yes. And if anybody wants a spreadsheet for free, we do have <laughs> a link in the description. Yes. Um, just type zero when you go to the checkout. Fine. Exactly. Yes. All right. Thanks Let's... for that support <laughs> and looking forward to uh, hear about your yeah your uh, reselling in the future. So yep. keep up with us. <laughs> <laughs> we love hearing that people are getting motivated and stuff. That's yeah. that's really exciting to me. So that's awesome. All right. I'm going to jump right in because we are going to go see Santa. Today. Yeah. And, um... For this whole week. We're early uh, today, aren't we? No, no we're actually we're pretty late. <laughs> We've already got the boys. It's after four o'clock. Our post office. But the faraway post office is on the way to see Santa and yeah. swim lessons, so it's a busy night. But um, well, we did go thrifting, and we're going to show you guys yeah. <laughs> what we found right after we pull our sales. Yes, we are. All right, for sale. This one came in while we were thrifting. Don't mind my nails. I peeled <laughs> off the rest of my polish, and I need to go get them painted for Christmas. But until then, um, I sold this little. The brand is Little Co. Lauren Conrad. It's like their new line at Kohl's, like uh, kids' clothing. Mm -hmm. um, it sold for $12, free shipping on Kittas, and I just posted it last night. Um, normally, I'd probably sell this around 15 or so free ship, but um, my son, even though he's only worn it one time and we bought it new, he cut into the sleeve like in three places. So I listed yep. it as play condition, and it's still sold for 12 free ship. So I'm happy with that. I probably bought it for nine or 10 bucks on um, sale at Kohl's, so I'm making back about six fifty of that. And he did wear it one time. So. <laughs> Gotta love learning how to use scissors. Yeah. All right. This is a viewer sale, a bundle actually. Yes, Oop. coming over here. Oh. See you. Not a two are both in DF. This is going out to a newer viewer named Cheryl. Um, sh I didn't write it down. I think she said something like she recently found our channel. Awesome. Um, and yeah, so she looks like she bought four items for her son. Um, so two pairs of childhood shorts, and then a polo bear uh, long sleeve tee, and then a Zara Pac-Man long sleeve tee. So these are all my son's stuff. Um, I had about 80, no, 79.37 into the four items. And Cheryl, my kid did wear them, minus the polo bear shirt, still knew a tag. And Cheryl bought them from us for 86.19 plus shipping. So Cheryl, thank you so much. Yeah, and thank thanks you for, so much for that supporting support. the channel and also just watching Absolutely. the channel. Awesome. Thank you so much for that support, Cheryl. We do yeah. appreciate it and hope you love <laughs> the clothes. Yes. All right, see why. Sold this Eeyore Disney fleece. I have $350 into this and it sold on Facebook Marketplace for $25 plus shipping. Pretty, pretty good little sale. Um, I like Disney stuff. Eeyore stuff particularly does kind of well. So I feel like people like Eeyore. Yeah. Sketchers. Eeyore and Tigger, I feel like are the two big hitters from. <laughs> The Winnie the Pooh universe. Yeah, I, I think guess I maybe said Destiny, a uh, Tigger one, just like that. So yeah. hopefully that sells for you, Destiny. <laughs> um, and these are just some women's sketchers. I have $9.99 into them, and they sold on Posh for my list price, which was $45. So full price sale. The three for hours that passed. Sketchers, huh? Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, the running ones, like these, like knit ones. Yeah. Seem to do really well, especially. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Alrighty, I did sell this mug already. 
Every time something sells like quickly after we showed it, I always think it's a viewer, but this person didn't say they were a viewer. Um, but if you are, Chris, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is that anthropology mug I just found, I think last weekend. I paid $5 for it. It sold for $27.25 plus shipping. Wow. So, yeah, really awesome. awesome. Chris, that if you're a viewer, lot. we appreciate it. Yeah, that had a lot of interest on all platforms, like, right away. I mean, I thought it would do well, but I didn't think it would sell that fast. Like, yeah. mugs just don't usually sell that fast. Um, but I feel like anthropology stuff, like dishes and stuff, I feel yeah. like people collect sets and maybe they were just missing a piece. Gotcha. So. All right, the Lego set also sold like in one day. That had a ton the re gift, of interest. well, yeah. not even reselling the gift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did people say about that? I, I don't think anybody really no. had an issue. <laughs> they're, they're all like, hey, yeah. every gift I, I sell, once yeah. it becomes your gift, a gift yeah. is given to you, <laughs> it's yours, you can do whatever you want. So, yeah. so we gave someone else a yeah. gift. Um, yeah. So this sold for $22.70 plus shipping. Yeah, Legos <laughs> are always a good sale, even opened sets and stuff like that yeah so, all right i don't usually like dealing much with the open ones right um i would be okay with like doing at least like sets like this that we need a list i mean i know you put this together for us yeah i don't like having to put them together i wouldn't mind selling just a big tub of like loose legos loose Lego, yeah i like putting them together it's kind of fun <laughs> all right these are some hey dude men's shoes so if you ever see this brand Oh, yeah, just called Hey Dude. So these sell really fast. Every time I've sold them, they sold them one day. Um, I picked these up at Play-Doh's a couple nights ago, Play-Doh's Closet, for $9. They sold overnight for $36.35 plus shipping and had so many likes all over the place. So, yeah, really happy with that. And last sale so far are a pair of snow boots that have been probably in a two-year death pile. <laughs> Mostly because I almost actually donated them last week. I Well, I went to list them and I realized like I was missing one of these laces. Oh. But then I don't know where did I got these laces. Oh yeah, I found them like for a buck or something at a thrift store the other day. And I just grabbed them, not really thinking about these boots, but just that we always need extra laces. So right. yeah, they fit in here perfectly. And so I finally was able to get them listed. Was that a sale? It was a sale. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I got these Sorrells at the bins a very long time ago. Every bins haul I've ever done has been less than $2 average cost of goods. So let's say I have two bucks into them. They sold for 40 plus shipping. So really good sale and then a yeah. dollar into the laces. So Glad you didn't redonate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I only charged $14.99 for shipping though and they were going to Florida. So someone must be going on vacation. Uh, I was going to say, those but, are going um, to Florida, huh? Yeah, so it did cost almost $19 to ship them out, but that's still really good profit. What did I say? I feel like it was a two item bundle. Oh, really? I don't know. I just got, I saw two emails pop mm. up. It was two things, which makes me think it's a viewer. Yeah. But the payment always takes a 20 minutes to come through, I feel like. So, yeah. So, we'll get this stuff packed up. We didn't really share how we're going to pack the stuff up today, but um, we'll do that. We usually do that in our other videos, but we're going to go ahead and pack this stuff up and then hopefully that payment comes through and we'll pull those after we do that. Yeah. And then we'll show you guys what we picked this morning. Yes. All right, guys, we got everything all packed up and payment did come through for that sale. Yep, and it actually is going out to Cheryl, the same one who bought the four <laughs> item bundle. So Cheryl, you are amazing. Thank you so yes. much. Um, I am going to ship them separately, obviously. I already yeah, we already had this all packed up. Anyways, and... like even if I wanted to like put it in, it wouldn't fit. So um, box. Oh, what are you doing, Reese Bear? <laughs> Dr. Seuss book. Dr. And Seuss then book. AE. We're another pair of pants. So these are Zara. I just listed these last night. Um, and yeah, so Cheryl got these two for $16.95 plus shipping. So Cheryl, thank awesome. you again. Yes, thank you so much for that support, Cheryl. So yeah, I'll pack those up in a minute, but I'm gonna show y'all what we got today so we can peace out of here. Yeah. Um, so this I thought was so funny. Like we sold this to a viewer the other day, right? This the exact not this one because she still has that one. Right, right. I found the exact same one. Like how <laughs> random, right? Um, I mean, the exact, literally the exact. I same think so. One. I mean, how many of these could they possibly have made? Back uh, in millions, the... probably. But <laughs> I mean, really, like, how, why would they make millions? There's not millions of Broncos fans. There are. No, there's not millions of Broncos fans. I think there are. <laughs> Anyways. 
Well, so this is a vintage Logo 7 Bronco sweatshirt, which should sell probably around 30, 35 plus shipping. Yeah. This was $5.99. This one is in a little bit uh, worse condition. Yeah, this one's going to get a wash. It does have a couple of spots. Like there. we noticed on the sleeve here, a couple spots yeah. and stuff, but it's vintage, you know? Yeah, and the vintage stuff right now seems to be doing well. Yeah. Um, so that's also why I got this. This is a vintage Lee Sport tag. Made in the USA, Rockies. Does have some cracking on the graphic, but it's from 1993. Dated 93. Um, it's a size XL. It was $7.99, but all the comps I saw on any vintage Rocky sweatshirts were like 30 plus. So yeah, I think I can pull close to 30 out of that. Um, I did find this puzzle for what 3.99, and I think this was selling around 20 or 25 plus ship. So cool, a moose shaped I, puzzle, huh? I like it. A bunch yeah. of animals in the moose. I think we recently sold a buffalo shaped puzzle to one of our viewers. Yeah, I always look for new attack puzzles. Even if they don't sell for a lot, they're usually fairly quick and yeah. simple, very simple to list. Yep, it's like two photographs. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then these are just the men's Apex. So that's the brand Apex. Um, I sell this brand a lot. They're just like a, I call them the old man shoes. But these are a men's size 15 extra wide, so the extra wide's good. I know 15's not my favorite. We've been doing good with those 15 Timberlands, but this is a whole different ball game yeah. for men's shoes. I don't, I don't know. I feel like when you get older, your feet like get smaller. Is that is that just me or is that like a true? Oh, thing? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know like any like older men with like really 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 big feet? I mean. Yeah, yeah, really, really big like, men, really, really big, big tall men. men. Yeah, I just I don't know. So I hope you saw. There wasn't a ton of like listen. I don't know any soul. personally, but you right. know, like I just feel like I don't know. I'm yeah. just making this up in my head. <laughs> Anyways, they're in like perfect shape. Yeah. So I grabbed them. They were eleven ninety seven. Although no, blue was half off, right? Blue was half so off. Yeah. Those were six bucks. Sweet. Yeah, I would have grabbed them at twelve anyways. Um, but yeah, generally I can get forty to fifty plus shipping on these, so that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Let me see if you charge me. I feel like this thrift store, the shoes they always. Um, I can't tell. It was on my that. receipt, right? Oh, maybe. Yeah. We checked that separate because this store gives you a five dollar coupon <laughs> if you spend thirty dollars. So every time he's with me, I make him do that. So we have ten dollars to go back with. Um, yep, we played the system, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but I did hear the employee last time I was there tell a newer employee that. So like the tags, generally, if this was a blue tag, they would just scan it. It would take the half off. But on shoes, they have to manually do it. So. Oh. Yeah. I always rem try to remember to double check, but I didn't even realize those were blue. Right. Anyways, Chris found this. It's I did. LLB men's jacket. So, yep, flannel lined, size XL. Yeah, this shit's all right around, I would say, $40 plus shipping. So, I'm excited about that. It's a good That's find. I'm going to get a wash. So, and this is just a, I don't know if. Well, now I'm seeing loose stitches, although I'll probably still list it because it was only two bucks. Actually, one buck, right? Blue again. Yeah. This was only one buck. <laughs> um, it's Prana, but look at that old tag, Prana. Super old yeah. looking tag. So, and it's cool. It says, Mountain speak and wise men listen. John Muir quote with the mountain. And I love the ringer tee style. So, I think someone will want that. I did just notice some loose stitches, but I feel like people that wear this stuff kind of don't really care as much. Um, so they're just gonna wear that to go hike up a mountain. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, even if it sells for 10 bucks, I'm fine with paying a dollar to sell for 10. Right. But I mean, if it didn't have the loose stitches, I think that's about a $20 t-shirt. Uh, Chris found this. The tag here was faded, so like we couldn't tell what brand it originally was, but it is vintage Rockies. Size large, so that was cool, and dated 99. Dated 99, yep. Cool. So we didn't look up comps again. I don't know, we're kind of like in finding <laughs> some of this stuff lately. Yeah. And then oh, we found like a ton of jeans. I'm not gonna like show you each one, but like almost all Carhartt. So these are, yeah, fleece, fleece line, line 48 by 30s. Good size, good yeah, shape. So, so these were price range. So some were like twelve ninety nine. Some were like one was five ninety nine. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna average these out just so that it's more like ten dollars or less. But uh oh, does this have a? That's not a chair. 
Uh, men's 4230s, relaxed. Uh, these look like a little bit of an older pair. Um, Cause a couple of them had the like paper tag, which they don't say made in the USA, but definitely yeah. older 4232. This store, I swear I always find a lot of Carhartt. Um, 3830s. These Sorry if you hear our children in the background <laughs> playing yeah. iPads. So these ones like kind of have that weird old fade, but I feel like some people like that, so. Yeah, and that pair was Yeah, so that bucks, was the cheapest, so. so yeah, I'm gonna average them out. They should come out to about 10 a piece, which most Carhartt jeans I'm looking probably at 25 to 40 plus shipping. So like the fleece lined and I have a pair of flannel lined, those ones will sell for the higher amounts. Yeah. Um, but they're really fast sellers, so I'm okay paying up for them. This is a brand I've heard of and never sold, Zadig and Voltaire. Um, they Made do in have, Albania. Yeah, they have a cool like skull right there. Oh, neat. Um, I did notice they have a little bit of the stretching in the crotch, but I really wanted to try the brand and it was only $3.99, so we're gonna try it. Uh, these are, I believe, women, size 31, and they are, looks like a button fly, so. Okay. I didn't really look up comps. I just thought that they would do well. Uh, this is Baby Gap. I love selling these little bunchings. This is like down feather, mm -hmm. so these are really warm. I sell these all the time for like 30 to $35 oh. plus shipping. Even though it's just Baby Gap, these retail for like 80 bucks and they are really warm, so yeah. people want to keep their baby warm. That's a really pretty pattern and it has the booties and the mittens, so. This was $10 though, but it's still, they sell really good. Uh, Chris found this, and again with the vintage stuff, and um, so that's an old Jan Sport tag, size XL. It's Colorado College. Hockey, yeah. Hockey. So it does have some fraying. Well, it has stains, but also those wrists. But I just feel like this is the kind of thing that people yeah like to wear, like relaxed fit, just kind of chilling around the dorms or whatever. I don't know. I don't get it, but <laughs> <laughs> I will sell it. So. And it was fairly um, yeah, it was four ninety nine. Cheap, so yeah, four bu if, if five we bucks. Lose, we're not gonna lose money, but for some reason it doesn't sell. We can mark it all the way down to like seven bucks and still yeah. just break even. But I think it'll still sell around twenty five to thirty. More Carhartt. These were thirty eight, thirty twos. Uh, yeah, he gave me half off the shoes. Perfect. Sweet. Chris found this. Yeah. Um, I was on a roll today. <laughs> Aha Joe. So we've never sold this. I just like these, like. Yeah. What do you call these? Like, I know some people call them the drug rugs and stuff, but. It's like a grunge. It's a full zip. Yeah, so I just always imagine, like, people at the beach and stuff wearing these. Yeah. Or, like, at a campfire or, like, at a rave or something. I yeah. don't know. That's how I'm picturing. But this out there was good, right? I think. Or. Uh, there, uh, it was. The okay. I mean, there was, like, four sold and, like, you know, a few listed. Maybe 50% so. sell through rate. But. No, there's this one has a full zip. The full zips seem to do a little bit better than like a pullover. And I see these all the time, and I usually just pass them. So if this sells fast, maybe I'll pick up them more often. Yeah, so. it seemed like it was in good shape, and yeah, and I like full zip any. Yeah, I think the color is is a desirable looking color. So we'll see. These were the nicest car hearts, but yeah, these are complete flannel lined and a size 34, 32. So. Yeah, so these were twelve ninety nine, but again, should sell for forty. I mean, to me, that's worth it, um, especially for like for the brand car. It sells yeah. so fast. So. Well, and especially since you got what like four or five, six pairs of jeans. Yeah, and you could I did photograph have, them real quick, you know, in a few minutes, and and be listing them pretty quick. So. And I did have a coupon to put towards this stuff too, so yeah. it probably brought down the price a little bit. So yeah, that's what we found today. <laughs> um, I didn't list yet what we showed you guys yesterday, so that's probably going up now tomorrow, and then this will probably then be going up the next day. So if you don't see it in our store and you saw something you wanted, um, just check back the next day, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we do have uh, that other big haul. Yeah. Big haul that we're gonna have to shoot probably tomorrow. Yeah, our kids tomorrow is their last day of school before break, and they have a half day, so which means anything we need to get work wise done, we need to do in the early morning. So yep. that's the plan for tomorrow. That is the plan for tomorrow. So we're gonna be shooting that haul and doing our shipping and stuff. 
And yeah, that's what we have going on, guys. Uh, I appreciate all the amazing viewer support that we had today. Guys, thank you so much. That means the world to us, and we do appreciate it very much. But that is going to do it for today's video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.